Hello, fellow truth seekers. I hope you are all doing well. So, I have a new member to the family. Look how cute he is. I found him the night of the new moon in Gemini. He, as you can tell, is tiny. He'd been orphaned. And I even, like, I waited, like, a while after I found him, and, um, I thought that, you know, his mama might come back. But he was even more, uh, he had crawled out of the little hole that I've, I'd found him in, and, uh, he was still very alone and very upset, and I felt to his little back after he was out of the hole, and it was... You could feel his spine like really prickly. He's already like you can tell like there's this that layer that protective layer there, and he's doing so good. He's so cute. He's such a cool little guy. I haven't decided what to name him yet, but how cool, right? Um, I'd really like closed out a big chapter in my life that day so I felt like that was kind of um, a little reward and um, kind of a promise too and I think that applies to all of us right you know that there's good stuff coming in right and but he's 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 a little new you know I'm having to really nurture the little guy you know? <laughs> he's a little preemie he got here early um, but yeah, there's good stuff coming in, guys. And that's just, um, yeah, I think it's a little symbolic gift from the universe. So, cool. All right. So, full moon in Sagittarius. Um, I know y'all have felt these energies. Whew. I've been hit hard by them. And I'm hoping that I'm just getting them early, right? Because... When I did my cards, my, my layout for the full moon in Sagittarius, uh, I was using the Wild Unknown Archetypes, and I got the Storm with uh, the Underworld as my underlying energy. <laughs> I'm like, all right, woo! <sighs> yeah. I'm behind on things. I apologize for not doing the June monthly readings, but I just, my personal transformation like ramped up. I had that going on and then I got that little guy and it was like, okay, you know, whew, I've got enough going on right now. And I'm, I don't know if I'll go back to the monthly readings or not, to be honest. I feel like, um, I want to try and keep things a little bit more present, right? Keep us in the present. And, um, yeah. And open up for other things, too. There are other things I want to do. And I was kind of getting hemmed in. And with, you know, when you're doing spiritual work as well, it's important to actually, you know, give your... You know, that's, that's a job, right? And I've been kind of making this my top priority and um it just shouldn't be i mean this is a part of my work but um yeah I'm, I'm pulling back a little bit and kind of opening it up for for new possibilities too so cool all right so let's get into the details about this um Full moon and Sagittarius. It's going to be intense, right? The storm. <laughs> the underworld. <laughs> so, uh, the degrees. It's 15 degrees of the moon squaring Mars, which is in turn squaring the sun at 15 degrees. And, you know, of course, the sun, sun and the moon are opposing each other. We've also got Venus in the mix at 12 degrees. So she's also making these hard aspects as well. Not to the exactness as, you know, uh, Mars, Moon, Sun, but she's right there. She's at 12 degrees, right? 15 degrees is the devil card. And we 
are going to feel that uh, tension, that uh, that seduction of the senses, right? We're um, we're definitely going to indulge in that, and that's fine. But we are in Sagittarius, right? So we want to make sure that we are, you know, being moderate. Right, not going too far. Watching that fine line between indulgence and obsession or addiction. Right, and you know, in addition to that, we are going to be actually facing our demons. Right, those aspects of ourselves that we've been ignoring we've been pretending didn't really mean that much it's really gonna get thrown in our face <laughs> we're not gonna be able to ignore it any longer uh and that's a, a, you know this is so this is all really good and this can just be like things that you've been left undone that really need to be done you know you've it's been easy to put it off right those kind of things we're going to be facing them and um you know wherever the devil is you find strength well strength comes in the guise of uranus eight degrees in taurus and it is making a sextile to mercury at nine degrees in cancer so we have, you know, we've been in hermit mode. And this is going right across the sun and Venus. So, you know, and Venus is at 12 degrees, the hanged man. Uranus, Mercury, the sudden switch, the light bulb going off, um, you know, a download. However, you know, this, this comes, it's going to be quick, it's going to be sudden, and you're going to know it, right? It's going to just light you up, right? Venus and the sun being right there. So, you know, this is uh, giving us the courage, you know, and then that's giving us the courage, too, to stand up to the demon, right? Whatever it is, whatever fear we've, we've had, whatever relationship that maybe we've been holding on to that we didn't need to hold on to like really seeing it clearly and being able having the courage to you know just face it down and finally close out the cycle right that's what it's all about so cool i think that you know that's the biggest part of what i want to say that didn't take all that long. Yeah, we'll see what comes out in the cards. I have a feeling it's going to be um, a bit of a smorgasbord. Let's see. Hello, my beautiful Leos. I hope you are all doing well. So, another intense one, right? The in Energies are intense. They're getting more intense. I'm recording this on Monday. Yesterday I had, shoo, <laughs> quite a day, quite a day. I'm Christiana, by the way. I will be performing this reading for you. I went deep, and today I feel like brand new. It's awesome. So hopefully you all are going to get some of the same. Um, hopefully I'm going through these energies early and I'm done with it. <laughs> we'll see. So this first card that we are going to pull is going to be the chakra that needs your most attention during this period. And this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Leo. Uh, that's spiritual awakening. Number 29, and we have forgiveness at the bottom. Number 19, this is the heart chakra. This is the crown chakra. And these two have been uh, coming up uh, quite a bit, actually, as far as I've gotten. Um, the south node is in... Uh, at 29 degrees of Sagittarius with this full moon in Sagittarius. And 
<clears throat> like I said, it's, you know, we're, it's like we're facing those little devils that have been deviling us <laughs> for a while now. And, um, yeah, it's, it's time to, to face them. You know, it's, it's, like I said, it's probably something you didn't think, but that was just your mind kind of playing tricks on you, thinking, you know, keeping you away from it, right? It's actually more important than you think it is because we can find all kinds of excuses that we don't need to do something. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's not that big a deal. I have all these other things that need to be done. Oh, it's been so long, <laughs> right? So what's another couple of months gonna be right that kind of shit all right let's see what actually you know I was wanting to do something different this time and that's why nothing was coming out okay so I'm gonna pull a clarifier from wisdom of the oracle we're gonna save the uh, art oracles for the end if I can get these cards out of here okay We're going to get closing guidance from the art and music oracles. So we're going to pull a clarifier here. Kind of uh, focus this spiritual awakening. What aspect, you know, how to work on it. What it has to do with. Right? So a clarifier, please, for spiritual awakening. Clarifier for spiritual awakening. Is. No place like home. Beautiful. Number 50. So that's a change. And this card talks about, you know, coming home to yourself. We have Ian at the bottom of the deck. And we will take a look at all the underlying energies at the end of the reading and see what kind of story they have to tell. So I want to go ahead and read from this because it's been a while since it's come out. But it's, yeah, it's about the self, which this is all, this time period is all about our exploration, our acceptance and love of self. Okay, so here we go. Essential meanings, authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit. And with the uh, capital S, spirit. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome. And it's like, you know, this light is shining out here. It's like, you know, I see you kind of in your home just... You know, it's kind of that safe place to go through your spiritual awakening, too. And it's like you're just lighting it up in there, right? It's like shiny out. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. We want to go to, yes, Moonology. It's your main message. We do have the full moon in Leo at the bottom and it's funny that it said pride nor humility right it's like that perfect balance and just shining right like leo does beautiful leo please messages for leo starting the full moon in sagittarius Okay, beautiful. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini at the bottom of the deck. And we just, you know, this full moon is following the new moon in Gemini. I'm just curious. Have faith in your dreams. Beautiful. Okay. 
Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, interesting. I'm liking this. What is this? Full moon and cancer. Interesting. We do have the new moon eclipse coming up, which is right on the cusp of Cancer and, uh, or Gemini and Cancer. So that's curious. Okay. Sorry guys, I, I gotta get it cleared up here. Thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> so, yeah, this is pretty straightforward here. I feel like, especially with this full moon in Cancer and the new moon being here, right? This new moon is going to be in Cancer. That, you know, we've got, you're very close to achieving your goal and your commitment is being tested along with, you know, have faith in your dreams at the bottom, which to me is very similar to this, very close to achieving your goal. Um, is saying, you know, what do you need to wrap up, right? What is still kind of hanging out there that need, you know, that devil, that devil you haven't taken care of yet is really needing to be closed up. Uh, yeah, so what do you need to release? What do you need to take care of? What what needs wrapping up? Cancer is also the sign of home, right? So it could have to do with that as well. You know, something to do with the home, with, you know, those things that are home to you, right? Not even necessarily making sure that you're in that kind of place. Yeah. No, that sounds weird. Okay. At any rate. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you need to, to get rid of anything that keeps you from, you know, having that, that space, right? Where you can really do your work and feel at home. You know, you need to be able to shine there. So what, what prevents that, right? And it's not necessarily going to be easy with this. Your commitment is being tested. Um, but this new moon card here at the very end, I mean, just look at that. And I mean, look at this with the um, yin card too. You know, it's like here you're kind of doing that, you know, more masculine work. And then it's like, then after you get this stuff done you're just gonna sit back and you know wait for that treasure to come in because this is one of the best cards in this deck you just see all the positive energy around it and there's a lot of purple here too which makes me feel like you can feel it you can feel it and like there's like some touches of this green in here which is saying you know the work you're doing it's it's beginning to manifest right and with this new moon i do have to say with this new moon and gemini card communication is key at the bottom of the deck there you know think back to the new moon and gemini and you know what communication you had there because that might have a little bit of a um you know, what conversations were you having? They might have, what comes up, right? They might have some kind of message for you now, some kind of clue, right, to what needs to be done. Because I feel like there, there are some things that, you know, need to be done, yeah. Okay, let's, I wanna go to the Modern Witch Tarot. Light. Oh, 
I like it too. It does feel light. I mean, I know that there's some, I just can feel this like, you almost feel like I've got this now, <laughs> you know? Cool, yeah. Colors are in this too. And it's like, look, we start out with this and then we end up with this. So what, ooh, golly. Okay, so for some of you, I, I got it and I, I've got to say it, right? And even if we get closer to the moon, it kind of looks a little bit more like it. You can kind of see that forming, like what you release comes back to you. Mm, I don't know, yeah. Take what resonates. For some of you, that may be the uh, message, but I really do feel like we've got to stick to it, of course. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Strength and the devil came out. <laughs> Nothing else is going to come out right now. Okay, that's funny. Ace of Wands, yeah, Desire, Page of Cups. Interesting with the Six of Swords, Five of Swords, Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay, we're not going to go any further than that. But wow, guys, um, look at that. Psst. I mean, what? I guess this is like the whole reading, right? <laughs> Because that's the whole thing, right? They say wherever the devil is, the strength card is not far behind. Because that's what we have to have, right? Leo. Leo. But you're having a hard time with it. Look at that. Strength is crossing the... Oh. Or you're giving the devil the hard time. <laughs> That's more like it, right? You're crossing the devil. But, you know, it is very much, um, it's, it's sitting right underneath these cards right here. You're close to achieving your goal and your commitment is being tested, right? That's where the devil card comes in. And it's been coming in with me too, right? It's like, I've been, there's been one thing after the other, right? Little, um, and I can almost see it with the trees here, like distractions coming in to distract you from your goals. So we've got to, you know, keep our eye on the prize, keep that devil tamed, right? A new start is coming, but we have to kind of keep keep this because that's a lot of uh, fire and 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 mm -hmm. desire. Okay, let's see what else comes out. For Leo, please, full moon and Sagittarius. Hmm. Not much is wanting to come out. This came out, uh-huh. Nine of Swords on the floor and Judgment. Interesting. Okay, we're going to put it like this now. The Eight of Swords at the bottom. Four of Swords. Wow. Five of Wands. Eight of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. The Fool. Nine of Pentacles. The Hanged One. Nine of Wands. Look, there are those nines. The Moon. Six of Cups. Three of Wands. The Lovers. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> So, you know, there's, we're still having a hard time letting go of, you know, something. But at the moment that we let go is the moment that we are, you know, come into what's ours. Right? You're having a hard time, you know, this is like a, a test of faith, right? Kind of just, you know, and I almost see that here, like the surrender to the universe, right? I don't know what to do. Surrender. 
you know, of course there's, but finally we walk away, right? And as soon as we walk away, you know, all of this kind of um, inner conflict, we walk away from it and look, the wheel of fortune starts turning. We're ready to, you know, walk out, you know, trusting once again, trusting in the universe. And uh, look, we get the nine of pentacles. We get enlightenment. We're mastering the, the nines. And we then, you know, the moon with the six of cups, three of wands, the lovers, ten of pentacles. I mean, that is like... We just have to get through this period. We have to face down the devil, right? Surrender to the universe. It's not easy. It's not easy to, to give up those things that have really uh, held us for a long time, right? But freedom, freedom comes here beautiful new start with what is really meant for you and we will be rewarded yeah yeah this is a big test right your commitment is being tested the devil strength nine of swords judgment three out of um those four cards are major arcana right yeah that's gonna have you all kinds of crazy in your head, but just remember, <laughs> you know, spirit is right by, right? Spirit's right here with you. So ask for strength, right? Ask for strength. And I, I can't help but feel like, you know, dreams here with this, you know, pay attention to your dreams. Um, of course, uh, personally, I haven't been able to remember my dreams here lately. Um, so, <laughs> but for some of you, you know, they might give you a clue as to what devil you're facing. Of course, we might know. All right, closing guidance, please. Closing guidance for Leo. Those wanted to come out, but they didn't. Okay, let's see if anything else. Okay, I feel like that's probably good. <sighs> Gustav Corbet is at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> oh, the devil. Okay. <laughs> huh, okay. We've got Ligiero Boetti. Know who you aren't. Find clarity and clutter. There's more than one way to read a map. Billy Holiday. If you are going to play, play with your whole soul. You have no understudy. And sometimes losing beats winning. And then we have Kate Bush. Never let go of mystery. Cultivate nostalgia for what never was. And the arrows of desire are sometimes dipped in poison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these uh, kind of really exemplify the whole devil thing, right? <laughs> um. Pulled to the flowers in their hair. And that, you know, this is like land and water here. There's also the masculine and the feminine here. There's this balancing that's happening. Um, for some reason, I'm getting kind of like a Taurus and a Pisces kind of vibe going on. Hmm. I'm also pulled here to the uh, find clarity and clutter, right? There might be, you know, some boxes. You know, this came to me when I got him because he was around for a while and then he went away and 
now he's come back again. <laughs> um, you know, going through your clothes, right? And getting rid of what, what isn't needed, but there, you know, it could also kind of, you know, clothes, right? I bring up clothes and it's like it triggered something, right? Because women were really into clothes, but you know, the guys too, right? He's got on a kind of a unique little get up here, right? Right, go through your old clothes that you have bagged up, you know, um, what goes, what stays, or even in your closet, right, that you, you know, clear it out, and it, who aren't you anymore, right, what clothes aren't, do you not wear anymore, what does that say? You know, who are you, and maybe who do you need to, what do you need? What isn't there that it's kind of um, what you're stepping into, right? Because it says, uh, know who you aren't. And then we have these two, and both of them have blue eyeshadow on. So I feel like there's, you know, and they're both voices, right? These are music artists, whereas he's a, a painter. Um... You know, there's, there's something that needs to be said. And both of them talk about, you know, she says, sometimes losing beats winning and cultivate nostalgia for what never was. So, you know, it's that letting go of something. And with the new moon in Gemini, we were letting go of um, a person, right? A connection that we've been holding on to. So I feel like this once again, you know, sometimes losing beats winning because whatever we're, we're giving up, we're going to get back, but better, right? Like if we think this is our person, maybe it's not, right? Maybe, but if we're holding on to them, we're not letting the real person come in. That's better. It's more a match to you, right? Than over here. This is more a match than this is, right? More dynamic warmth rather than cold you know because sometimes the arrows of desire are dipped in poison right so and you need an understudy <laughs> I feel like that's it. Okay. Oh, I didn't do art yet. All right. Let's go ahead and get a piece of art. Then we'll look at the underlying energies. Okay. Art for Leo. Okay. To the right. Hmm. Self-portrait. That's interesting, though. I want to bring both of them because it's like they're portraits. Um, <laughs> this is Mrs. Mary Robinson. It makes me think of the Mrs. Robinson song. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Then, as I said that, I was singing that. So I look down and see Silentio. <laughs> Silence. Oh, God. So... Uh, I want to read from this. This is a self-portrait by Salvatore Rosa. It says, Regarding us over his shoulder with a rueful, disdainful expression, the artist appears to be admonishing us with disapproval. Indeed, inscribed on the tablet he holds are the words, Be silent, unless what you have to say is better than silence. <laughs> the stern message of this somber self-portrait is made even more real by Rosa's dark cloak and hat giving him an almost sinister quality. The strange horizonless sky appears to make him loom threatening above us. Hmm. I'm drawn to the fact it's like he's in this almost sling here. It's like, 
Makes me feel like he, um, oh, she's got her hand in something. That's interesting that their hands are both kind of um, covered, right? It's that disengagement almost. Um, and he is feeling defensive about it, right? She looks like, well, hmm, I don't know. I don't really care, <laughs> you know? It's like she's responding to him. Hmm. That is very interesting to me. See what it makes you guys feel. It is self-portrait after after all. Yeah, and of course that is talking about what we've been talking about. How do you see yourself? She looks a little more open, right, than you. A little softer, more compassionate. We want to make sure that we are staying that. And maybe even paying attention to uh, how much and what we're saying. <laughs> cool. All right, underlying energies. I want to put forgiveness right here in the middle and underneath that green. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there's this play between the masculine and the feminine. It's There's definitely, like, the feminine seems to be uh, overpowering the, <laughs> the narrative here, it seems. Even with this pink, right, that's unconditional love. That's femininity, right? We have all this pink here. And we have two female cards, one masculine card, which even has the masculine and the feminine energy, right? Like, the fighter pilot is the masculine, the passenger plane is the feminine. Um, and, you know, I've been thinking, uh, I've seen a lot of imagery of, like, you know, the um, masculine and feminine, right? The, the, the feminine is the home, right? That is the, and, uh, you know, I don't want to get into those archetypes too much, but I think that it, it's I've been seeing it a lot and and thinking about it so I feel like it's it's kind of important right like the masculine side of us is that adventurer the one who goes out and kind of um, explores the unknown the feminine is the one that stays at home and keeps the home uh, pleasant and and welcoming to come back to right but what's happened in the past is that we've, you know, the more feminine, uh, you know, the, the women actually had to really embody that archetype to the point that it was no, it was, uh, it's enslaving, right? And I think that's kind of where this forgiveness is coming in too, right? For the feminine. Having a more balanced way of living because we want to adventure too, you know. <laughs> and the men, you know, they're, we've, we've taught them to kind of, uh, you know, that's the way to be, that having, you know, pride in what your home looks like is uh, girly, right? what girls do so I feel like there is this um you know and even with this community I, I get pulled to this right the the twins the balance of masculine and feminine in the lover's card you know having this discussion between those parts of yourself right
What have you not seen about this playing out in your life up to now? I really feel like this is an exploration of that. Hmm. Cool. All right, guys. I hope that that helped. I hope it resonated. If so, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Until next time, much love.